Oh, let it be so. Uh, all right, so you probably uh, look around you at the fence of this park and think, where did all those rainbow flags come from? Do, do they just magically sprout every year? <laughs> no, they do not. Uh, they are the uh, conception and production of our next speaker, Stephen Love Menendez. <laughs> Come on up, Stephen. Stephen, first and foremost, considers himself a love activist, <laughs> as well as a rainbow flag activist, also a prominent photographer. Awesome. Okay. He participated in the Occupy Wall Street movement and has been a volunteer at the Stonewall Monument for the last five years, working with Shirley. He, he has stewarded the rainbow flag on the nautical flagpole, the one at the end, which is now city land, uh, since its inception, and is the creator of the 250 rainbow flag installation around the monument for the month of pride for the last five years. He also strives to advocate for those in the LGBTQ plus trans and homeless communities. And this weekend, because this is the People's Park, he will be premiering the first official drag shows here at the Stonewall Monument on Fridays and Saturdays for the month of Pride. Oh, yeah. oh, Enthusiasm for that. He strongly feels that if our actions are rooted in love, then we are on the right path. Hey, thank you all for coming today. Um, So I just wanted to share that today we are going to be raising the progress flag. And I just wanted to give a little description of the progress flag in case anyone was not aware. Um, the progress flag does contain the six stripe version of the Gilbert Baker flag with five new stripes added in the Chevron design, black, brown, blue, pink, and white. The added colors compose of three main pieces. There is the trans pride flag, which is the blue and pink and and white that Monica Helms created. It represents the trans community. The black and brown is from the more color, more pride Philadelphia pride flag that was meant to highlight the need for greater focus uh, on people of color as they are most often marginalized with the marginal, they, as they are more marginalized than their white counterparts within the LGBT community. There is also a second meaning for the black stripe. Something that is very pre prevalent in our community is the stig stigmatization, stigmatization <laughs> of, of people living with HIV and AIDS. Black in our history. Back in our history, we had the victory over AIDS flag made by technical sergeant Leonard Philip Matlovich, which was the traditional six stripe flag with the black stripe added at the, at the bottom. He wanted all flags to be made that way until we had a cure and then when the cure was found all those black stripes would be cut off and ceremoniously burned we have not found a cure yet so i feel the symbolism of the black stripe has so much importance so um when the park was first when it was first announced that the park was going to become a national monument there was a community meeting for people to come and gather and give input and suggestions on what, what they felt about the park becoming a monument. So I was immediately excited. I attended that meeting and shortly afterwards, um, it was announced that the rainbow flag was gonna be raised on the nautical pole. And I went to that event and I met Michael Petrellis there. We struck up a conversation and met for lunch afterwards. And when the first pride was coming, uh, I reached out to him and said, I had this idea to install these flags around the park. And he connected me with Shirley McKinney and uh, she said yes, and that's how the flags around the park was birthed. Um, during those installations, the last few years, I was including a 
temporary flagpole and flag during those monthly installations uh, for Pride. And my dream was for that flag to become a permanent installation somehow. And then um, last year, when the Biden administration came in, came in, um, came in, I sent out a request to see if I could have monthly permits to have the temporary flag installed and, and raised and kept going. And I ended up doing that on a month to month basis for six months. And then last year during Pride, Shirley called me and gave me the surprise that the National Parks had decided to install a permanent flag and pole in the same po in the same spot where the pole, the temporary pole was. So I, I really love the idea that, it, that all of this has come about by activists engaging directly with national parks. And, and I love the fact that they listened and we communicated and these things came into fruition. So it's incredible. Um, um, and then I spend a lot of time doing volunteer work here in the park th throughout the year. And it's just so incredible to see all the people that come through this park specifically for the reason of it being the historical monument that it is. And I've seen anything from elementary school kids, junior high school kids coming here on field trips, tourists from all over the world coming on tours. Um, I've met Stonewall veterans that happen to be in the park. Um, and then there's a regular community of people that use this park as a, on a daily basis as a safe space to be able to come together in community, celebrate, support each other. And it's really, I mean, it's one of the most beautiful experiences I've ever been able to participate in. Um, just one, one little short story. I was here probably about two months ago. It was a, a cold day and there was a young trans person in the park and they were taking some pictures of the flag and um, I offered and I was coming here to do some gardening work and I offered to take a picture of them in front of the flag and when I went to take the picture of them in front of the flag tears started rolling down their face and they said to me you know I'm from Texas I'm just visiting here right now we don't have a place like this where we live so it really you know cements the importance of this flag and how much it means to people when they get to come here and visit the park and see it on uh, online and on the news you know this flag installation around the park has become like an international symbol of of liberation whenever you see interviews of people during the month of pride so many times are taking place in front of these these flags and this year last year we incorporated the progress flag into the installation and starting tomorrow we, our order is coming late because of all the crazy weather, but we're getting the trans flags as well, which are going to be incorporated into the installation. So, so basically the last thing I want to say is, you know, I feel that when people enter this park, the flag says to them, you are honored, you are celebrated, and you are loved. Thank you.